So there's very little high-level overlap in Tri-State. Young Link, which has practically no representation outside of Biddy, and Suarez, who we've already established. I literally saw two on. Young Links here. Yeah, I think we have both. One. We have both Young Links of the Tri-State area in attendance right now. That is or two of three. The other one being Straw Hat. It's gross. These people playing the same character. How dare they? Hey, There's 79 characters. Pick another one. <laughs> Character's kind of cool. No, I'm not no, no, no. Lie. Actually, I, I I miss Young Link. You don't see him as often anymore. So this game, this game is going to be uh, very tricky, right? Because a lot of them are just going to get, it, it's going to devolve into a projectile war at some point. The problem is it's not your traditional zoning war where they just want to rack up the damage with projectiles. They want specifically to land that projectile that will lead into their combo. For Young Link, that's going to be the fire arrow. And of course, for Yoshi, that's his egg throw. That long range hit confirm is so important for these two characters because they're speedy and they just need that one hit to matter. It's important they kill off of a projectile. Let me tell you what. Yeah, man. First blood breaking in Biddy's favor. It's like, you, you know, typically you expect it to be like some sort of move that's connected to the character to leap into something of a combo. But Smash has this weird subset of characters that their projectiles are just more reliable. Mind you, Yoshi has a dozen and a half moves he can make a combo out of, from forward tilt to up tilt to neutral air. Oh, speaking of, there we go. He comes falling down with that uh, fast down air. Okay, try, try and go for a neutral air war. Suarez accidental SD. You saw him there right through the ledge, so he wasn't able to grab it, put himself in a precarious position, was able to recover. So hopefully he recovers from that. Yeah, this oh, game, game go for one big reads. Looking a little bit like a rough game one for Suarez, but Biddy's gonna take this and run to the bank. Has not stopped swinging on Suarez yet. Bro, if there was one player that you told me was gonna be in winner's quarters, and you told me it was Biddy, I would have laughed at you. <laughs> so the fact that Biddy's made it this far, good on him. In it, all honesty. Biddy's the type of player who is very confident in his play sometimes. Yeah, and he's a, he's a momentum-based player. He is, but he's also a victim of circumstance, I feel. Sometimes he just gets rocked by a bad bracket, or like he'll run into someone who loves fighting projectile characters. But what? right now, his luck's looking good. He's still got to keep an even battle with Suarez, but his that was only is looking the, really clean. That was only the first stock. He's going to kick right through that projectile. Suarez going for the Nair out of shield as well. The one thing to note that we don't often see from Young Links as much as we are right now is how often Biddy's putting out the down air and how much that's helping him avoid the aggressive counter offensives from Suarez. Because time and time again, down air has checked everything and forward smash is what Link's game one is. Turn around turnaround game. forward smash. You saw him just dash out of range. Biddy on a rampage right now, looking very promising to move on to winner's semis. Holy crap. All right, here we go. There's the that was the that was the confirmed. I, I felt like there's a little bit of matchup um, inexperience. I would feel. coming out from Suarez because there were multiple times where he would like misspace something, whether it was a uh, the turnaround command grab landing on top of him that PS2 platform didn't land because he's too far away, or like that example of getting the egg toss in the forward air. And also, you know, he did SD, so I don't want to count. The, I'm not. There's no way I'm counting Suarez out. Like that's just game one. This could easily turn around. You know, if anything, I could see this going to a game five situation. Both of these players, I feel like, they're well equipped to fight each other, but Suarez needs to recognize he needs to tune his gameplay for playing against a character who's fast and small. Because, like, if he's used to fighting bigger bodies or normal statured characters. I'm like, he's a small boy. He's pretty swift, too. Maybe not to the likes of Pikachu, but still one of those characters where you have to be more precise when it comes to combo. I think this stage is going to help out Suarez a lot. He's already starting to abuse that platform on Smashville in the center and just like trying to chill in the air because if, uh, example, Biddy throws his boomerang down like that to go in the angle, he can easily jump over that and there's no platform below for Biddy to hide. So he leaves himself wide open. So that, I, I think that's the name of the game right now for Suarez on this stage anyways. He just keeps jumping over it. Yeah, but at the same time, I feel like this stage works out really well in Biddy's favor just because fighting from outside of that platform is a paradise for zoners because you just have that one ceiling that you need to defend. Everything else you could box out from outside, and just like that, Biddy standing strong from center stage gets himself the first kill. And 
Arrows, bombs, boomerangs galore. It's just zoning hell right now for Soros to deal with. Okay, Nera out of shield. What's he waiting for? Oh, gets the up air. He saw him hold that shield for so long. Waits for Vinny to just jump right above him. And he goes for it. And the problem is the Suarez is trying to hunt for anything that isn't down air. But Vinny keeps putting out down air and it's working really well. So that patience is going to be key for Suarez to turn some sort of a substantial reversal. But Vinny once again locking down center stage, gets himself a little bit of free damage as he continues to just beat down on Suarez. Okay. Again, good bait. He actually threw that the boomerang at a delay that time. And he's also as he, I think he was attempting to try to parry it. He tried to go for the punish, but then he didn't see that rogue boomerang coming in to interrupt him. Oh, and forced the shield because of the bomb at the ledge. Very smart. Baby. There's a lot of options coming out from Biddy that we're seeing right now with these projectiles where he's covering his bases so he can't get punished. Get away with stuff. But right there, that forward air leads him to the freest up smash of all time. But he's literally just like one boomerang hit, one down tilt, one raw smash stack away from dying, but Suarez isn't gonna give it to him. He <laughs> fell out of that. Okay, you're gonna see that a lot, and I know that's like one of the major faults of Young Link as a character, is his, his uh, spin attack is not really reliable. It doesn't <laughs> make it any less it funny. It's so funny to see, man. I, I, I hate to see it happen, man. I'm not no laughing, one wants dude. to see it happen. Why are you laughing at the poor kid, bro? What's wrong? I'm just saying, Toon Link doesn't have that issue. Who's Toon Link? Ooh. Yink, Tink, Link, Mink. Uh, how many Links we got? All right, again, throwing out those fire arrows, trying to keep Suarez at a distance. Nair out of shield looking to be the uh, the remedy that Suarez needs for all this close range pressure. Funny how it, it took this long for Suarez to realize Nair out of shield was the, the move. And he's playing safe too, look at him, from a distance. I like that he went for the Nair there because I, I'm recognizing that Suarez doesn't really understand what is going to be like, what, how big of a punch you can get up with spin attack. So he's just going for the safest option, which is fine because he's in the combos. And then you guys still got the down beat kill right afterwards. So Suarez wins another game. There we go, one to one. Game three. That one game of adaptation right may have been all that Suarez needed because he figured out how to play out of shield effectively. That's going to hurt a lot of Biddy's more offensive zoning capabilities. So a stage where I feel like less options would be the best for Biddy. Lock it down to maybe Town and City or a final destination pick. Probably be the smarter move. Game three. All right, let's see. Where are we going? And it is final destination for our game three. No platform zone. We're a real fighting game now. Okay. Plenty, plenty of projectiles to worry about for Soros. Let's see how he figures out how to approach. And if the denial of space is going to be enough for Biddy to try to turn the tides back into his favor. Okay, right there, you see Suarez was trying to go for it. Like, last time he got the grab, but he tried to go for a turnaround. But the spin attack has very little cooldown afterwards. So it's hard for him to go for a big punish like that. If you're if you're facing away from your opponent on spin attack like that, you, you just got to try to go for the, like, what's he going to do next and get the punish on that instead. Okay, again, jumping over the boomerang, but it was a bait into the hero spin. Spin attack. What the hell that move's called? Up B. Well, it is up B. Well, you never know. He could have his yep. special map to another button. Maybe it's up uh, left trigger. <laughs> oh. But maybe it's just missing a tech. I don't think he could have got that tech. He was flying pretty fast. Yeah, that was a bit of a renegade stock there from Soros. But hey, he'll take it. Uh, as he immediately moves on to the aggressive, trying to kill out yeah. Biddy really he early. He was calling out a double jump from Biddy. If Biddy would have double jumped, he'd be dead. This adaptation coming out from Suarez. He I either he learned the matchup and he learned Biddy's playstyle. The double whammy. Yeah, no, this is dangerous because now it's going to force Biddy to try and figure out ways that he can get in or at least contest space without being in the air because now Suarez is much more confident in how he can get around the projectile hell. I'm a little shocked he went to FD against Yoshi, but like it could work, you know. As young Link, you kind of just like sometimes you just don't want platforms, you know. Yeah, it's, it's just like you don't want your opponent to have platforms. Plus, this is just open range for Biddy to just put out projectiles, deny that aerial space that makes Yoshi so powerful. Like, see there, we couldn't see Suarez approach in because Boomerang was just right over his head. He fell out of up smash. Uh, that, I mean, the, to be fair, suck. he was at the very edge of that up smash, so it didn't bring him in. Not that true confirmed. 
And Biddy very hungry for that. Interrupts everything with a down beam. And Up air go. at a shield. Catches him jumping. Biddy was predicting a jump at a shield. Suarez just played the waiting game. Now all of a sudden, three stocks to one. We saw this game number one, but on opposite sides. You know, it seems like the uh, the match is starting to slip away from Diddy. He nets the stock, but he needs to figure out some way to slow down all this momentum from Suarez. Now, logic would dictate you just want to bunker down and really start the zoning war. That's what he's doing. He's trying. He's chilling away from. The, he's facing him, so he gets a free grab instead. Oh, I like that from Suarez. He ran right past him, went for the pivot grab. Oh, he got caught into the spin again. Give me a third. Right, he might. I mean, it's a decent enough move. It's like a discount uh, flying fortress. Find a Dollar General. <laughs> that Dollar Tree move kit. I love how Suarez avoided those Fyros by just doing nothing. That was my favorite thing. There we go. Uh-oh. Rare instance of that move hitting. When nice. All right. Did he nice. playing a lot more of the Mobile Fortress game, working out really heavily for him. He's taking a pretty penny in damage, but the fact that he's not staying in one place as he's pelting Suarez with little things is working out really nicely because it's forcing Suarez into the air. But one touch and he's on him, and look at that, 100 plus percentage. We're at the ledge. It's not a fun time. Hey, connects on shield. Yes, sir. Forward air. Spikes him into the ground and sets him up for an up air. That's going to be yet another point for Biddy. All right. I'm sorry, Suarez. Advantage sits Suarez, but what's the move from Biddy? That FD pick, it started to work towards the end. I would be okay with seeing it go back, but I don't know. Neither do I, Hangman. Neither do I. I don't know. I, I can't like, predict the future. I feel like it's just that Yoshi's able to move through the air so well. Like, you need some sort of an option to, at least if he's going to be in the air, give him a reason to, like, take a while to get places. A longer stage would really benefit him. And stadium is perfect. Yes, too. I mean, the, the bread and butter stage. Now, I'm of the belief that this is a good stage for Yoshi. But maybe in this situation, this could be just enough to really force the hand of Suarez to like give up on more aggro options for the sake of chasing Biddy. Biddy plays a heavy cat and mouse game. I, I just can't believe Suarez, like, he got that read with the down, or the punish game. He was trying to punish the up B, the down B, but still wasn't quick enough because the recovery on that is so fast. Okay, just gonna shield right through. He was waiting for the boomerang to come back before making his mark. Because you know, I can always come back. Always come back to haunt, haunt you. Forward air, go. Bo both players flying off stage like that. 124% on Biddy. This could be an opportunity for Suarez to get this kill. Ledge option, what's he gonna do? Just normal get up shield. I like the safer routes. These guys have to play it safe, otherwise, I feel like you're giving too much whenever you end up, like, trying to go offensive when you don't have the space to justify it. At least in this particular matchup, the way that these guys have played against each other. Because, like, they both want to play aggro, but they're forcing each other to have to play more passive. I don't know, man. Vinny's play style is not exactly the most aggro thing in the world. Well, I mean, that's such a... Oh, oh, what's God. happening? Very dead. We're exploding over here. Let's go, Vinny. All right, what's the follow-up? Just the up air, but... Oh, he wanted to get more off of it. Again, Biddy throwing out that boomerang to cover the jumps. That's one thing when you're fighting against Young Link is that, like, odds are he's going to have your jump covered, so don't jump out of shield. Right. And then Biddy tries to play around the fact that, okay, so he's not going to, I'm limiting one of his options, so what other option he's going to go for. And that's how, that's how Biddy gets away with a lot of his stuff. It's pretty, it's a smart trap. Going against the ground like that. There we go. Suarez getting, gets the punish. Pivot grab, forces out the double jump. He makes up how he's going to get back to the stage. Smart recovery from Biddy. Oh. He got down air? Yeah. That was sick. Do more damage, man. I actually like how Suarez has been consistently trying to set Biddy off stage every time he's losing the damage war because it's just more free damage for him to at least tie things back up because once the battle's on stage, Biddy is looking pristine. Like, this is a radically different game from what we saw in Final Destination. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen Biddy with a hefty lead since game one. So I don't know if it's like the way he's changing up his playstyle or the stage, but something's changing and something's given. 
So let's see if he can try to hold on to this. Right now he's on the edge as far as he's trying to close out that stock. He's got the high rage to play with it. Could easily set him up. Doing this projectile war. Oh, caught him. Letting go his shield. Gets the nair. Gets the forward air. Gets the kill. Oh! All that damage. That was a whole lot off of that command grab. All right, you're flying. Forward air not as useful anymore. 161, we're almost threatening to be able to kill just from swinging it onto stage. Dead. Oh, he still has the shield. Soros just can't get that timing on that punish. It's so hard to punish that LP. But it gets the up air anyways. One stock apiece, potentially Biddy's final stock. I don't know, man. Biddy has been able to change up his play style really well, and I feel like the stage is helping him immensely. Like, the fact that he's been able to just run and gun Suarez this entire game has been keeping him in the lead as far as percentage is concerned. And that was really smart, too, coming out of the edge of the upper because he knew that Suarez is steaming. Got the double, double nair going on right now. Okay, not jumping out of shield. Waiting for the boomerang. But he's playing around that. More projectiles coming his way, just forcing him to hold shield as he waits for the boomerang to come right back to Biddy. Swore is looking for an answer. He's trying to space out that forward air, and he spaced it so well, but the hook shot went pretty far. Managed to connect that grab. He's going at a very steady pace right now, Biddy. If he keeps up like this, he's on track to bring us into game five. Swore's got so aggro right there. He went right in front of him with the forward air. Down tilt, put himself in a weird oh. position. Gets the roll in up tilt. Goes for the egg throw. Opts to go for a double jump to avoid the projectile. Smart stuff. Biddy getting back on the center stage. Got a back here coming out. Oh, he's out deep, though. He's going to get checked with one egg. And manages to snap himself back just in the nick of time. The Magneto hands coming in clutch. Here we go. Suarez is looking for a back air. If the back air connects, that's the set. Just one back air is all he needs. Suarez is waiting his turn, but he just keeps on getting hit. But he's skipping it with these projectiles. He's trying to play as safe as possible. Gets the parry. Oh, no, it's a multi-hit. Manages to survive. 143%. It's not safe on parry. Forward air tries to space it out. Goes for a quick burst option to get him off of what him. What a catch. He catches him. Micro pop off from Biddy as he brings us into game five. He knew that Swarm was going to land right on top of him. He's like, you know what? I see it happening. He connects the up smash, and there's the pop off from Biddy. You see it. <laughs> he really wants it. And now he brings it to the game five situation that you were talking about, game number one. We got ourselves a close set. Biddy's not out of the fire just yet, though. We've got a counter pick coming out from Suarez. I'm curious to see if we're going to run it back or if we're going to Battlefield. I feel like those are the only two options. Suarez taking his time to figure things out. It looks like a minor discussion having to. It might be a DSR talk. Uh, I believe. I don't know what the stage I don't know what's going on with the stage list. Stage list, I think, is like the traditional New York stage list, maybe with the absence of... I uh, haven't seen anyone pick into Inova. So, That's fair. Maybe it's just Kalos as the counter pick. Let's just go to Woohoo Island, boys. Mm, Let's do it. I don't know that Going one. to Woohoo Island. Uh, wo legal legal wo stage. Woohoo gets a no no from me. <laughs> All right, PS2, game five. Let's get it. All right, what are the changes now? What are we going to end up seeing? This is winner's bracket life on the line for these boys. And if there's anything to indicate from what we talked about previously, that loser's bracket is probably like. The bloodiest Shark Tank we have ever seen. Yes, it has. I do want to talk about Suarez finally adapted right there. You saw him, his shield was holding away from Young Link when he needed the spin attack. So instead, he jumped up, waited to see what he was going to do later, and then got the grab afterwards. I like that adaptation coming out from Suarez. Love it. He Ooh. charged that for a year, bro. What happened? He was just waiting his turn. It's that matter of patience. I feel like that is the tone of this entire set is how well these guys can temper their patience. If they can wait their turn to swing, they get so much, but they just need to be able to make the other person impatient enough to swing out of line. Overextensions, even by a tiny bit, matter so much in this matchup. A little bit of autopiloting coming out from Suarez is definitely gonna like set him up for a big hill to climb. It's possible, but it's gonna be hard. He's got him at 101%. Could set him up, misses the up air. Not that it would have killed, but it would have put him in a terrible position. Gets the down Ooh. beat instead, gets the kill, and Suarez back in this fight. Well, not that much damage to speak of either. 57, you know, in the grand scheme of things, not a lot when you consider the little bit of point damage that you're taking from Young Link over and over. 
Now, right there is something that we haven't really touched on, but I I feel like Suarez could take much more advantage. If you can hit the boomerang out of the air, you can make it a non-factor. If Suarez nares that, not only can he approach with a hitbox, but he can neglect the, the boomerang's like oppression. Because that boomerang is stopping him from playing in the sky as much as he wants to. And he wants to, man. I mean, he could also snipe it with an egg, reach it out with back air, but he hasn't like actively done so. And all of these options keep him mobile enough that he doesn't have to worry about Biddy turning an offensive with the fire arrows. And that's what Biddy was looking for right there. He threw the boomerang into the option to cover the jumps, gets another projectile confirmed into an up air. Suarez on his final stock of the set. Just throws his face at that bomb. Screw that bomb, man. Lots and lots of damage. What's up? What's the option? Oh, he, he tried to get even. He tried to push it even further. He wanted to get the parry on that final swing. I love the advancement of this from Suarez. Unfortunately, it's something he's gonna have to oh. go into the lab for. But gets the down beat anyways. Brings it to a final stock situation. Uh, Who's gonna take it, man? Biddy or Suarez? It's deja vu, Austin. We're looking at the same exact situation that we had from the prior set of stocks. But Biddy is sitting so pretty right now. Suarez is gonna have to pull some high stakes robbery if he really wants to take this set. Okay, gets the up B, catches him jumping on top of him. That's a good get off me option. Just a simple up B out of shield. Gets a boomerang, one of the down here afterwards. That would have done so much damage. Goes for the Nair just to get Suarez off him. Suarez wants this approach so hard, but he just can't find this opening. He's looking for it. Gets oh. the hit, 149%. Suarez off stage. What's he going to do? He has to get back. He has yet to land a finger on Biddy. Biddy is controlling. He's dominating the stage. Suarez is trying to rush in too heavily right now because that he is looking down the barrel of so much projectile offensive. He ran all the way through PS2 like that. Look at him run away trying to get those, that perfect spacing for his projectiles. Suarez can't touch him. He's untouchable. Oh, but he misses his grab. Hold on, tech situation. Suarez in a bad spot, back air. Back air is not killing anytime soon, but Suarez is surviving at 195%. 195% gets the up air, managed to get the kill, and Biddy taking the set off of Suarez. We find Biddy in winner's semis at this tournament. What in the world is going on? Let's go, Biddy. Let's go, Biddy. Biddy in winner's semis. I'm here for it, yo. Whoa. Been a long time coming, but hey, that's a young link. We got a not top gonna, eight tonight. Not gonna lie, I'm a fan. I'm a All fan. All right, this Justin, this Justin from player four. All right. What do you have to say about Biddy taking a 3-2 victory over Suarez? Yo, that must be really sick. Shout outs to B Yo Biddy Games. Sub to Biddy on his channel. He's got a YouTube. Yeah. What's his YouTube? What's his YouTube? Yo I don't know what his YouTube is. Yo Biddy Games. What was that? Yo Biddy Games. Yo Biddy Games. Yeah. Okay, Yo Biddy Games, go check out. He does Let's Plays and stuff down there. I think he has guides as well for Young Link or something. Yeah, yeah go check him out. He's in Winter Semis. Also follow me on player underscore four. Hey man, I have a mic. I don't know why you're putting it towards me. That's a good point. Okay, cool. I'm not fist pumping that. No, this I'm is mine now. I'm not fist pumping that. Uh, wow! That was OD. That would be the end of a generation of Smashers if I chopped off Reggie's hand. What's up, guys? Welcome. Welcome back to Players Ball. And stay tuned because our shenanigans taking a bit of a pause. But tonight's action, not done just yet.